Today in crypto land, the Bitcoin price explosion continues as it breezes past $12,000. A new Bitcoin futures product has been approved. Bitcoin mining sees a huge demand for hardware and the rest of the crypto market keeps releasing big news and Bitcoin doesn't care about any of that stuff. By the way, if you want to be playing the markets by longing Bitcoin for profits, or perhaps you're a bit more contrarian and you want to be shorting Bitcoin if you are so brave to do so, then check out Bybit. It is an awesome margin trading platform with great liquidity and a fantastic user experience. On Bybit, you can long and short Bitcoin, EOS, XRP, and Ethereum with up to 100x leverage. Bybit is a margin trading platform, which means that it is a high risk, but also high profit potential exchange. Margin trading is not for beginners, but if you are an experienced trader, then this is a great place to have fun and to make some profits. Also, you can get $10 in free Bitcoin just for signing up and a further 50 bucks in free Bitcoin after depositing 0.2 Bitcoin or 6 Ethereum. Click on the referral link down below to get started. And if you are in the US, then you'll need to use a VPN to access Bybit. So, Bitcoin, wow, what a day, guys. Bitcoin spent most of the morning teasing us with that $12,000 price level, and then blammo, right across 12,000. Duck yeah, man, Bitcoin, yeah, Urgh, get some, woo. Now, Bitcoin has been up nearly 33% in the last seven days, which to be honest is kind of insane. I mean, just wow, guys. To put that in perspective for a minute, that's around $70 billion in value, which has been added to the market cap of Bitcoin in the last seven days, or around $10 billion a day. And also something fun for you, the last time Bitcoin crossed over the 11600 to kind of $12,000 level, it only took 12 days to hit $20,000. Now, I'm not saying that history is about to repeat itself, but that's some food for thought for you. And aside from the price, we have had some mega bullish news for Bitcoin today. Over in the USA, the CFTC has approved Ledger X to be allowed to settle Bitcoin futures using real Bitcoin. It's actually really fascinating to see that Ledger X got approved to offer futures contracts before Backed, before CDEX, and before Erisex because those companies have been working for ages to try to get approved and then Ledger X just sneaks on in there. But considering that Backed will be futures contract testing in July, I have a sneaking suspicion that we may be seeing an announcement from them in the near future. Also, I am very welcoming of the Ledger X Bitcoin futures contracts, well, as welcoming as they have of any kind of Wall Street paper products, but they are physically settled. Yes, they're gonna be settling them in Bitcoin and that they're open for retail clients. This is not just for the institutions, this is for everybody, which is kind of cool. Ledrex says that they have a big wait list already and I'm not surprised considering what the product offering is. How many retail clients, of course, will actually want to play with futures contracts from Ledgerx remains to be seen, but it is nice to see that at least they're catering to US retail. And the Ledger X news is also important because just look at how insanely popular the CME Bitcoin futures have been. They have been doing billions and billions of dollars in volume. And those are cash settled futures, unlike the new physically settled ones. The question will be if Ledger X futures will simply cut into the pie of the CME or if they will simply make the pie bigger by welcoming in more players. Personally, I'm leaning towards the latter on that one. Now on to the next story. The Cash app, which is the fourth most popular finance app in the USA, has enabled Bitcoin deposits for its few hundred thousand customers. Now Bitcoin has already been available and been popular on the Cash app, but it has only been available for purchase. The addition of deposits means that the Cash App basically just became a serious marketplace 
for buying and selling, depositing and withdrawing Bitcoin. Also to add into the fun that for the first time ever, the number of Bitcoin ATMs globally has crossed over the 5,000 mark, meaning that Bitcoin is available to more and more people every single day. And these announcements come just the day after the announcement from Line that their messenger service is now going to be launching an exchange for their 80 million monthly active customers in Japan, which I imagine will be expanded out to their 180 million monthly active users in East Asia in the future, all with exposure to Bitcoin through the app. Continued announcements like the ones above have been fueling massive growth in really the bullish sentiment that we are currently seeing in the crypto markets, almost reaching the points of kind of irrational exuberance, which in a weird way is a dangerous short term trend. And yeah, there are still some people who are out there saying that this is nothing more than a bear market rally and that we're going to have a massive retracement. But the Bitcoin honey badger tends to not really care about any contrarian points of view. The Bitcoin honey badger was just asleep for a few months during the bear market, guys. And now the honey badger, it's back awake and it is out terrorizing the savannah of crypto land again. Now with all of the bullish news about, you know, there's more on ramps for retail, there's more institutions coming in, there's more products to service those institutions being launched all the time. And well, basically everything else that we talk about on this channel on a regular basis, this rally seems to really just be heating up. And all of the price news combined with everything else that's going on with Bitcoin have been having a big effect on the Bitcoin mining scene. Bitcoin, of course, has reached new network highs in terms of security, meaning that Bitcoin is now more secure than it has ever been. But that means that more machines are being plugged into the network. In fact, reports are starting to come in that suppliers like Kanan are having trouble keeping up with demand from clients and considering just how profitable it has become to mine Bitcoin, it is not really any surprise to see the demand for the miners being so high. Bitcoin miners at this point can be returning investment and making profits in as little as 60 to 150 days, depending on energy costs, which is amazing. And big investments into mining farms are once again on the increase, like the announcement that we saw today from the Californian-based company called Pluton Mining, which was building a 49-acre solar farm in the Mojave Desert to power a Bitcoin mining facility. And funnily, over in Iran, Iran is reporting that the electricity grid is becoming unstable because of the massive influx of Bitcoin miners. That's wild. With reports that electricity consumption in Iran has increased by 7% in the last month. The energy minister has declared that miners will be found and shut down. Just try, man. <laughs> of course, the low energy prices have been very attractive for Bitcoin miners, especially in locations in Iran that are subsidized, like mosques or factories or certain farms, for example, and they have been attracting miners from places as far flung as Armenia, France, and Ukraine. Backing up a report from earlier this year about the smuggling of Bitcoin miners into Iran. Iran, by the way, is one of the cheapest places in the world to mine Bitcoin, making anyone who can successfully smuggle miners into Iran massive profits. Even the old generation Bitcoin miners would be turning big profits in Iran. And a reminder that Iran is also a country where Bitcoin sells at a premium. So those miners are making extra bank if they're selling on the local market. No matter the adversity, no matter the hardship, no matter the pain, Bitcoin, it finds a way. And while all of the attention continues to largely fall on Bitcoin because it is leading the price rally, there continues to be a lot of things happening in the crypto markets outside of Bitcoin. We have new products launching. We have new partnerships being announced. We have new technology being developed. Just look at some of these big stories. This is just a sampling from today. VeChain has announced a massive partnership with Walmart China. So Walmart China will now track food in their supply chain using... VeChain's Thor blockchain. 
Walmart China announced that 23 product lines will be tracked using VeChain. That is a massive nod of approval for VeChain, and that there are plans to release another 100 products covering more than 10 different product categories. Wow, that is incredibly encouraging to see such a big company like Walmart using a public blockchain like VeChain. Fusion is five days away from the release of their decentralized finance-focused blockchain on mainnet. Omise Go is launching their own cryptocurrency exchange called Go Exchange. Waves has released a major update to its, change, inclu to its chain, including smart contracts and a new programming language, which they're calling Ride. Zcash, it's still out there doing stuff. Apparently, they are building a sharded blockchain to make for increased scalability for Zcash moving forward. Qtim is working to implement Mimble Wimble technology to allow for confidential transactions. Nam is launching a blockchain development studio. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. Now, why do I say this? Why is this important? Why do all these other crypto stories matter because there is so much development happening right now in the crypto space. There are so many announcements, so many partnerships. The rest of the crypto market will have its day in the sun. And yes, I know there are some major outliers here. You know, energy has been popping in price. Link has been going nuts. Beam has been booming. But most of the crypto market has been lagging behind. And those little spikes that we see from some of these cryptos, they're just appetizers for the main show, which will happen at some point. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for taking the time out of your day to come over here and check out this video. As always, you guys are supremely freaking awesome. and I just love you all, and I appreciate the time that you take to come over here and check out these videos. And I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say about any of this news down below in the comments section, you can leave your comment there and I'll have a read through it and let you guys know what I think. And of course, if you want to join the conversation in a bit of a deeper way, come over and get involved in the Telegram group. We're always having a good time chatting about crypto over there. So we'd love to see you there as well. If you did enjoy today's video, hit that thumbs up button, guys. The Google gods love it. And of course, if you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell to know when I put out a new video. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.